That's a frog, mate. Good to go. Hello, uh, so today we're going to be talking about how to choose between our seven different walk-in tub models that we offer. Um, before we get going here, um, I just want to uh, remind you that this webinar today is going to be solely on the, the seven tubs that we offer. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of questions and then there'll be that relate to other topics and We'll, we'll follow up on those questions in other webinars depending on how well we do with this webinar today. Um, we're also going to have a Q&A at the, at the very end. So providing I don't bore you to tears between here and now, um, I'll hang around at the end there to, to answer any questions that you have. And then, of course, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do best as, as we can here as we get going. Uh, so to get started here, um, my name's Rory. Um, I'm the general manager and owner of Safety Bath. Um, a lot of you have, I've talked to her quite often. Um, email, I'm usually the guy behind the emails as well. And I'm also the guy in front of the, uh, on the camera here. Um, I've been an owner at Safety Bath since 2011. Um, we originally purchased Safety Bath uh, in 2011 from the, from the original owner, Latimer Kowalchuk, who actually started this business in a small town called Ituna, Saskatchewan. And so basically he saw his dad having trouble getting in and out of the bathtub and he had this idea of, of cutting a fridge freezer in half uh, and putting a padlock on the door to see if it would hold water, thinking that that might make it easier for his dad to get in and out of the bathtub. And sure enough, it did. So he saw that, he saw much different, how much easier that made for his dad to get in and out of the bathtub. And he had the idea and ran with it and figured that more people would probably benefit from uh, a walk-in fridge-style bathtub, I guess. And then the walk-in bathtub has evolved from there. So that, that was in 1992. Um, so given that we were started in 92, we started off with that fridge freezer. Um, we've learned how to manufacture walking bathtubs from the raw materials up. So we've gone through every process, through certification, using different materials, through thermal farming, through gel coat, using roving, the layup. Um, not only that, since 92, we've, we've run into lots of different people, uh, people with mobility issues, we're, we're people with, um, uh, people who require these tubs in care homes or institutions, we've got our bathtubs in hospitals. So we've had to cater for a lot of people and that means we also had to redesign our bathtubs for a lot of different applications. So we understand the manufacturing aspect, we understand the people who are buying our bathtubs and because we've got 29 years of experience with that, um, we feel like we're in a good position to guide you um, as best possible into the right kind of bathtub for yourself or, or for your customer. And so moving forward, 
when you have someone walk into your showroom or, or you're deciding that if you want to buy a, a walk-in bathtub, we have uh, a few steps that we can do. And it goes from the very first time that you meet um, the person or the very first time you're looking at buying a walk-in bathtub. There, there's criteria you can look at. And so you can narrow down the tub field visually like are, are you a tall person or are you, are you a short person or are you going to have lots of people using this bathtub so you need a, a more a tub to cater to a lot of people and you can do this right now or, for, or again from the very first time you meet someone um, it's a pretty easy gauge to start with so we have um, four things here um, mobility circumstances size and obviously the bathroom that will affect it your your tub decision um, but the real, the, the main thing, if you can memorize this, that you are selling a mobility aid first and, um, really for everybody, everybody, the best walking bathtub is the bathtub that gives you the, the greatest ease of access. If you can remember that you'll do well by your customer. So the first thing is you notice your customers walked into your, your showroom or you're walked into the showroom to look at it, your mobility. How, how, how mobile are you? Like, did they, or have you just walked into the store using a cane or a, or a walker? Um, have you had some assistance trying to get into the store just so you can have a look at the, at the tub? Um, if you notice someone that, that as they come in and they're, they're using a, a walker and, and you can't lift your leg very high, and then immediately you should be thinking, well, a tub with an inward swing, swinging style door is an obvious example it's gonna be more difficult for this person to use. So immediately that rules out our inward swing style models and you look at our outward swing style models and it's gonna guide you down that, that, that decision-making process to, to pick in the right tub for, for that person. A really quick gauge, you just, it's a visual thing you'll get right off the bat there. Um, the next thing, of course, you're gonna, you're gonna talk to the person that you're buying the bathtub or, or you're selling the bathtub to, and you're gonna get an idea for, for their circumstances. So you wanna to listen to, to what they've got going on in their life and what's gonna also dictate what's the right bathtub for them. Um, so obviously budget's a big part of it. You need to know like how much you're willing to spend, how much do you have to spend. Um, also, if there's grants and rebates there, like are you do you have that to help you as well? Um, also, where the bathtub's going, do you have, is a, is a couple buying a bathtub? Do you have someone that's, one person in the relationship is a bather, another person is, is a shower and has been for years. We have bathtubs that have larger floor space so you can step into the bathtub um, and stand and take a shower. You don't need to use it as, as a, a walk-in bathtub per se. Um, and so with that, that gives you more features and again, more direction to steer you in that right kind of, direction for the person that's looking at, at the bathtub. And another big one is, are they receiving caregiver aid? Um, or do you receive care, caregiver aid? Some of our bathtubs are, are not right for, for assistance and some of them will make it easier for people to, to receive help in, in, the, in the bathtub as well. Um, yeah, these are all things that you, you'll discuss and you'll get a feel and I'll help you narrow out a lot of our, our options there. And then as we move forward, of course, it, we understand some of the circumstances and mobility, and then and then the size of the person that's looking at buying the bathtub. Are you, are you six foot nine um, and 300 pounds? In that case, our, our smallest bathtub, our space saving bathtub, is gonna be a real pain for you to use. And even though it takes all the right boxes for most people, our most popular tubs wouldn't be the right bathtub for you. We, we really recommend one of our longer ones. Uh, exact same if you're if you're heavier set we've got wider bathtubs for that as well and so this is purely a physical thing you'll be able to see the person and uh, make a decision there so having the right size bathtub as well as ease of accessibility is, is really critical on that as well and then the other thing is the bathroom itself now of course um, we've got all these different tubs they've all got different dimensions but another factor if this tub will actually work for the person buying is can we actually get into their bathroom? So the bathroom space itself is, is it too small? You've got a super narrow bathroom where you can't even open the door in it. 
maybe you can't even get the, the width of the bathtub through the, the opening or doorways into the house as well. So this is going to give you further guidance and it's going to steer you a little bit better in your decision making process there on which bathtub is right for you. And, and, and not only that, a lot of people have got multiple bathrooms in their house. Um, a lot of people will, will maybe think that they want to put their, they want to make changes to a, one bathroom in the house where it may not be the logical option really if you're thinking about ease of access and mobility. Again, I'm, I'm going to say that a lot through this video. Um, make sure to make the recommendations that you put this in the right bathroom. Uh, a walk-in tub, making your bathroom safer is great, but it, it's almost counterintuitive if you put this on in the basement or on the third floor where you kind of got to negotiate those stairs up into the bathroom in the first instance where there's actually a bathroom on the same level as the bedroom to make everything safer as, as, as an example there. So the considerations there, and these are all visuals and easy to gauge from easy conversation, the mobility, circumstances, size, and, and their bathroom as well. So I started off um, with the the first obvious thing that you, if you can just bear this simple thing in mind as, you, as you're looking for a bathtub or, or, or if you're selling a bathtub, um, are the, the priorities. And if you can just remember that ease of accessibility is everything when you're looking at our bathtubs. Um, you can actually, the homeowner themselves, will have trouble getting out the bathtub obviously they already know they they kind of want a bathtub to make life easier for themselves um, but you need to be super aware that just be, just because they come into into your showroom or you're looking for a bathtub just because there's a door doesn't necessarily mean it's easier to use and that you can actually replace that existing hurdle in the house with a new hurdle in this walk-in tub so really just bear in mind and remember ease of access is absolutely everything and that goes a long way in, in having satisfaction in the, in the tub that you purchase um, or the tub that you sell and uh, just having that satisfaction that it's the right tub for you. A lot of people, um, we hear stories that have bought tubs online or they bought tubs used and they have them installed and it's just, uh, there's complaints about it. And it's not necessarily the tub that's at fault, it's just not the right tub for that application for the person that's using it. So really critical to you. To, to bear ease of access is absolutely everything and much more of a priority over uh, a more awkward tub to use with every feature, the heated seats and the lights and whatnot. Um, an easier wide access door is, is absolutely better served with a, just an easier tub to use basically. And so moving on, um, that brings us actually directly into the tub. So just remember ease of access is absolutely everything. And so this makes it really easy for us to, to lead off onto um, the tubs that we offer. And the main thing, if you were to call us today, and I, I haven't talked to you today, or I don't even know who you are, and you were to say, Rory, I wanna buy a walk-in tub, which one would you, would you pick? I'd say the panel. I don't know your circumstances, I don't know anything about you or where this is going. And the reason why I would say the Panama is because it's the easiest tub to get in and out of. It's It's got that wide outward swinging door. Um, when you open that door, the whole seat's exposed. It's presented to you. So now you can actually just turn turn around, you lower yourself down on the seat, and then you can swing yourself into the bathtub, your legs into the bathtub, that is. And so there's no stepping up into that bathtub whatsoever. And so that really ticks all the boxes. You can use the door to steady yourself as, as, as it's open uh, as, and the tub as well to get in and out the bathtub. Uh, and you also have quite a bit of floor space in this. It's not as big as a regular shower, but you can absolutely stand in this and shower so you can put a shower door on it as well. So it's good for um, if you're making modifications to the house for really the tub is for one person in the family, but everybody else can use it as well if they're showering or, or, or they're not using the tub function of it. Um, it's good for a lot of people, basically, that one. And it's also got a safety lock on the door as well, so you can be in that bathtub, be comfortable and be safe. You've got the easy um, grab bar there, uh, the lever to, to pull close, and uh, once you pull it, the lock actually engages automatically, so you can't accidentally open this bathtub whatsoever. Uh, 
and yeah like and it's easy if you've got arthritis in the hands or anything it's it's you can knock it with your fist basically to open that bathtub door once you've un disengaged the lock that is so really intuitive really easy to use um, and very safe you can sit to get in and out the bathtub and, and full wide open door so that's why we would recommend uh, the Panama tub first and foremost um, Panama tub is also great if you're looking for a display model because you can literally sell all of our other bathtubs uh, from that bathtub. Um, we move on to the grander bathtub. Uh, our grander bathtub is a full 35 inches wide. So this bathtub is a big tub and is termed a bariatric bathtub. And really a, a bathtub that's suited for a heavier set person, someone over 300 pounds maybe. Um, or our care home where you've got a lot of different people coming and going so you can co accommodate a lot of body sizes. Um, it, we really should be mindful with this bathtub because it, it, is, it does require 100 gallons to fill it up. It's, it is a big bathtub. Uh, if you don't have the body size to offset the water volume, it will take longer for it to fill and longer to, dr to drain, even though you've got the two drains in it, two two-inch drains. Um, it will require more water if you're smaller. So we try and only recommend this for bigger people. But the beauty of this bathtub is got the 30 inch wide seat. Again, once you open the bathtub, the whole seat is exposed. So you can lower yourself down again onto the seat itself and, and pivot your legs into the bathtub. Really, really easy to use. Exact same door that's on the Panama. Uh, and yeah, good for, for larger people shopping for a, a walking bathtub. And then we move on to the Oasis bathtub. The Oasis bathtub is our, our 60 inch long bathtub. It is our, our luxurious tub. So this tub, once you open the door, this tub again has the same door opening as the, as the Panama and the Grandeur tub. But the difference with this one is when you open the door, you have a reclined seating position. So when you're in there, you kind of, it's like sitting in a sun lounger. So you're in there, you can extend your legs. So this tub's really good for tall people. It's also good for, for people who want a deep soak, because you're in that reclined position, now you can bring that water right up to your shoulders and, and, and have a deep soak. And then of course, once you, you tie that in with the air jets and you've got water jets and, and, and lights and heated seats, it's a, that really is, that truly is a hot tub in the bathroom and um, a fun bathtub. Like you, people really enjoy that one a lot. Um, does take quite a bit more water, obviously, because it's a bigger bathtub. Um, but really good for tall people and people who really, really want a deep soak. And um, the best way I can associate this with the kind of bathtub it is, is you know, when you're in a hot tub, there's always that kind of lazy uh, boy kind of seating area in a hot tub. Um, it's like sitting in that port part of the hot tub there. It's, it's a wonderful place to be. And then moving on, um, we have our Zen bathtub. Now this bathtub is probably our most economical tub to use. Um, it's got the same door as the Panama, so it, it's got the same opening space. It's 43 inches long, so it's small, so it's great for smaller spaces. We have people actually buy our bathtubs and they'll put this in a closet. They don't want to renovate the bathroom. Um, they're looking for, for convenience, to make their, their house a little bit safe, but again, not want to make any too drastic changes to the house itself. So the beauty of the Zen bathtub is because it's short it's shorter in the right spot so between the, the from the knees to the front of the bathtub is that we've actually shortened that distance so the floor area is a little smaller in it but you still have the same seat seating area and seat space as you do on the panama uh, and um and the oasis bathtubs but it's a little bit taller so you can have a deep soak in it a lot of people when they're looking at buying a walk-in bathtub they're bathers or they're looking to just make their bathroom safer, obviously, but be just because they're buying a walk-in tub doesn't necessarily mean they're looking to soak all the time. They might just, they don't shower, they want to, they bathe quickly. So the kind of people that will put a, a few inches in the bathtub of a quick wash, this bathtub is great for that because because that, that front area that we discussed between the knees and the shins is, is, is a little shorter, that initial foot well, and forgive me, I'm looking around, I'm picturing myself sitting in the bathtub, but that, that initial foot well is smaller, it's got a smaller water volume. So obviously it'll fill quicker, just to the knee level, 
and then it'll drain quicker. So if you're looking to get in, have a quick wash and get out. You don't have the time for it. Um, it's great for for those circumstances. Um, yeah, and of course you can stand and take a shower in it. You can you can pair it with um, our, our our shower doors as well. So really really great tub, economical to use, and um, good for good for tighter spaces. Uh, and then we move on to our Rio bathtub. So the, our Rio bathtub is a little bit of a different aesthetic. Um, it's got the U-shaped door. It is an outward swinging style door, but this is different in the sense that the, the seat isn't presented to you as you open the door. Um, you do have to step in this, turn around and sit down. However, this tub is great um, because it's narrow. The reason why we have this narrow tub is we have a lot of houses. The maritime provinces uh, seem to have a lot of houses where the, the door, the hallways are narrow. It's not just a matter of getting into the bathroom. It would be the hallways and everything to get all the way up into the house itself. Um, the other tubs just simply won't fit. So this bathtub covers those bases. Um, with it being small, it comes with added benefits as well of, of using less water um, as you use it. So with that being said, it will fill quicker. It will also drain quicker. And um, yeah, it's, it's more of an economical choice. This one comes standard with uh, heated air jets as well. So good option for a lot of people, different aesthetic for people that maybe don't like the the, the, the kind of L-shaped door, I guess, on, on our other tubs. And uh, easier for uh, contractors would like this one a lot because it's easier to get into the house. Um, and then we move into uh, our Fairman bathtub. Now the Fairman bathtub is the same dimensions as the Panama. The real main difference with this is actually it's an inward swinging style door. So this is the most popular kind of walk-in tub you're going to see in the market. And this is the kind of thing where you're going to have your customer or yourself, you've been online and you're looking and you're thinking, wow, this tub is, there's a great price on this tub at one of the box stores. And then you'll reach out to, to Safety Bath and you'll see the grandeur bathtub with all the features. And you're going to wonder what the price differences are, why they're, why they're so drastic. And the reason being is an inward swinging style door is much easier to, to manufacture than an outward swinging door, period. And so, and the reason being is because the water pressures with the door, it just it simply doesn't need to be engineered to the same standard as an outward swinging style door. So you see these tubs are very, very commonplace. Um, the beauty of an in swing style door, although they are a little bit trickier to use when you get in and out of them, they are good for smaller bathrooms in places where you don't have access to open in the door an outward swinging door wide open um yeah so good for narrow bathrooms basically is what what you would put this in for and it's also a little bit more economical than the other ones because of that inward style swinging door so good benefits there and obviously it comes with the faucet and the drain uh and you can put all the options on this tub as you can with all the other tubs and that's actually something i should say as well i get a lot of people asking well how much is the, the cadillac bathtub well, in our in our lineup, there is no such thing as, as the Cadillac. Um, you could consider maybe the Oasis bathtub because it's more of a luxurious uh, seating position, but it's not a Cadillac uh, style bathtub because you can have all the exact same options on that bathtub on our Fairmount bathtub. So you can put the heated seats and lights and everything on this tub. So it goes back to that point of being choosing the right tub using the circumstances and the criteria that we talked about in the beginning for that end user and then once you've got the tub decided then you can put all the options you want on any of our bathtubs and that's what really makes us unique from other people out there selling their bathtubs or walking bathtubs um and then moving on from there we go on to our solo bathtub now the solo bathtub this tub is, is really unique and in the walking tub world this tub is essentially a standard five foot bathtub. There is nothing different between this and any other bathtub that you'll see uh, at any plumbing store. The only difference is, is we manufacture the standard five foot bathtub with the door in it. So the beauty of this bathtub literally is you're saving people obviously stepping over that hurdle in their existing bathtub. Um, now they can step through and that hurdle being the wall obviously. Um, now you can step through the tub wall because of the door. Um, the added benefits are there's no surprises with this. So now you've got, you can have a deep soak in this. If you can get down, you can stretch your legs out. It's going to fill just as quickly as your existing bathtub in the house. It uses the exact same water requirements. Um, and flow rates is the faucet that you already have. Um, 
and the drain as well. It's just it's going to drain exactly the same as your existing tub as well. So it's it's a really it's an economical tub. It costs less, and it it's good for a lot of people that are on a budget because it does tick boxes of of it um, being a walk-in tub and just making the bathroom safer. Um, I would say with this bathtub, something to be aware of. Um, people generally looking at this bathtub, um, this doesn't help you get out of the bathtub. Of course, people can get down into it. The struggle is getting out of it. So you would want to consider grab bars um, to assist with that. But people will put this in when they want to retain like a traditional looking tub in their bathroom. Don't like the size or the feel of the bigger tubs. So they'll put this in and then their bathroom will, will look just like how it did before they put a walk-in tub before this mobility aid in their bathroom and um, the aesthetics of it just it goes much better we had someone here in Lethbridge buy one of these and she liked it uh, she had arthritis and she liked it because she can put a bath mat over the door and it completely just hid the fact that she had a walk-in tub in her bathroom she was a younger person that actually bought that bathtub so uh, and contractors like it as well for care homes and, and places like that and so that is all our bathtubs we really did blaze over those quite quickly there so i'm sure there's 101 questions on all the different tubs themselves um and that's just a quick rundown but really what we've done there is just try to steer like kind of um just give you a broad quick outlook on all the bathtubs that we offer and uh use uh, the starting segment the, the four real main things the, the criteria for narrowing down the tub selection and then there's, there's a whole there's like a ton worth of blogs here in each one of these different bathtubs on their own right. But we just want to get this blog to you, uh, or uh, uh, webinar, pardon me, uh, just to kind of help guide you into the right tub first, and then we can expand on that in, in future topics. And so really to, to carry on my summary, I guess I, I started there. Um, want to repeat it just one more time, if you can really understand or, or prioritize the importance of the accessibility of the bathtub first for your for your customer it is a mobility aid so you'll have someone come or if you're looking for for a walk-in tub and you're you you have arthritis or you have maybe something that's degenerative um, the tub that you're looking at today may not be the best tub for you in five ten years down the road so you do need to, to think about that um, as you go into a showroom or you're, you're selling from a showroom, look at the customer, look at the circumstances that they're in and, and, and bear that in mind. Don't just say you have a walk-in tub and this is the one that you have. You don't need to do that. You can apply what I'm saying to any manufacturer walk-in bathtub. You can look at the bathtub and say that's an inward swinging door. That's going to be a little bit trickier for you to use. So therefore I would recommend this outward swinging style door just because it will make it much more easier for you to get in and out the bathtub because the door is in, in, in the way of you when you're in the tub. And um, that'll be good for you today. It'll be better for you in 10 years down the road as well. Of course, as we as we tend to age, uh, our conditions worse. And so it really is uh, super important that you consider how that tub will be for you in the future. And, and really, the more accessible tub is the better option than a less expensive tub with with all the kind of features built into it so like a less expensive tub with water jets and and heated jets that and think of them like a car like a car comparison that's not how you should think about these you should be thinking about uh it being a mobility aid first and that lends into customer satisfaction as well as buyer satisfaction as well because you've made the change in your bathroom and you want it to be easier to use having a the ease of accessibility prioritized will just stand you better in the long run. So um, you'll be much more satisfied with the product. Your customer will be satisfied. They won't be oversold on options that are of no use to them because you can't use the bathtub. Um, yeah, and it's just good to make your bathroom safer and it'll stand you better in the long run. And so really that's... Uh, what we've got for you for today for for today's webinar um right now we've got time for questions if you want any questions i'll be happy to answer them for you uh we'll hang around for a few minutes here um if you don't have any questions that's fine you can also uh email us anytime um 
my personal email here is rory at safetybackups.com i'm here to answer your questions so yeah if you got any questions just just let us know then that's fine so if you again right now i realize we just kind of blasted over all of those top options there i was really quickly uh, again, my email is rory at safetybackups.com. Um, we do plan, we'll put this on the web. It'll be there for you to use for future reference, um, to give to your customers even, or, or to pass around to, uh, if you want to share the information. And uh, yeah, my email, rory at safetybackups.com. Shoot an email off to us uh, and I'll reply to any questions you have. Uh, thanks for your time uh, and have a good day.